In 1859, a man named Joshua Abraham Norton declared himself Emperor Norton I, the first and only Emperor of the United States of America. Despite having no legal authority or formal recognition, Norton became a beloved and iconic figure in San Francisco and beyond, known for his eccentricities, humor, and unique perspective on the world. Norton was born in England in 1818 and emigrated to San Francisco in 1849, at the height of the California Gold Rush. He initially made a fortune in the real estate market, but lost everything after investing in a failed rice crop. Following this setback, Norton disappeared for several years before re-emerging in 1859 with his proclamation as Emperor of the United States. Despite his lack of official authority, Norton took his role seriously, issuing numerous decrees and proclamations on a variety of tropics, from politics and economics to social issues and city planning. He called for the dissolution of Congress, the establishment of a League of Nations, and the construction of a bridge across San Francisco Bay, among other things. While many of Norton's proclamations were tongue-in-cheek or satirical, he was also a passionate advocate for their rights and welfare of the poor and disenfranchised. He was known to intervene on behalf of Chinese immigrants, for example, and to attend public events and offer his support and guidance to the community. Norton's reign as emperor was not without controversy, however. He was often the target of ridicule and harassment, and was briefly arrested for vagrancy in 1867. However, his loyal subjects rallied to his defense, and the charges were eventually dropped. Norton's popularity continued to grow throughout the 1870s and 1880s, and he became a beloved and widely recognized figure in San Francisco and beyond. He was known for his elaborate uniforms and his willingness to engage with anyone who approached him, from wealthy businessmen to common street vendors. Norton died on January 8, 1880 and was mourned by thousands of people who lined the streets of San Francisco for his funeral procession. He left behind a legacy of humor, compassion, and eccentricity, and remains a beloved and iconic figure in the history of the city and the United States as a whole.